<laughs> in the chicken try. too, the chicken too, they say is the best over here. It is very nice, like that. Now I have too big a piece of pork in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today I'm in Berkeley Heights where I can smell chicken cooking over the charcoal. I'm here at Charcoal Portuguese Grill. We're so excited to be here at Charcoal Portuguese Grill. It smells fantastic. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you. We saw the chicken over the charcoals over there, so it's aptly named Charcoal Grill. Charcoal Grill, yeah, because we cook everything in a charcoal bowl, and everything is cooked. And you have a, quite a spread here, and you're saying that these are kind of the really signature dishes of the restaurant. Yes, uh, because over here is a barbecue, so the most healthy Bottles over here is the chicken, the rib. This one's just, uh, this is pork ribs and uh, chicken, and right? Chicken, okay. Right. And how about this one? The cubes, so we cut the pork in cubes. We have in beef, we have in chicken, we have a mix. Then we make with the gravy, we do special, we cook the gravy for four hours. And then we put in a refrigerator, we take the grease out, then we make nice, low fat, uh, gravy. Then we mix with the onions and peppers. That's the way we put in potatoes. We fry the potatoes, put it together. This is traditionally pork? It's more traditionally pork, yeah. Okay. This is, uh, and it's called picadilla? Uh, yeah, picadilla. I'll try it. I think on Facebook I read that somebody said this was the best picadilla that they had, and they challenged anyone to find a better place. And no one did, so. <laughs> and the to chicken <laughs> too, the chicken too, they say is the best of you. Yeah, it's really good, it's tender. Yeah. The potato is the best part because the potatoes are got the, the juice from the uh, the gravy is very good. And I mean another dish that I feel like is very classic is the shrimp and garlic sauce. Yes. How is that prepared? Uh, we put uh, olive oil, garlic, then we saute, and then we just we use uh, white wine and paprika to give a little little color, to put a little pity pity sauce that we make over here. Uh, yeah, it has a reddish sauce. Is it tomato? No, it's a paprika. Oh, pap paprika. Yeah. Right. Okay. But we put uh, some sauce, we make it over here like a pity pity sauce. Mm -hmm. The same sauce we do for the for the chicken, for the ribs. And how about the soup that you have here? Is this the, which soup is this? It's a string bean soup. String bean soup, okay. Is that a cream based? No, we cook the, the we boil the potatoes with the garlic, with the onions, and then we blend everything to make it thicker, and then we put some of the string beans on top. Some Interesting, so. Pork belly. You don't have to worry if you're dairy free, you can still eat that. <laughs> Looks yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. And how about in the you have a sausage dish? Yeah, that? that's a from uh, Lopez in Newark. So we buy over there. It's very popular uh, meat market in Newark. So all the Portuguese like them, so I I bring to Breaking Highs. Is Portuguese sausage. sausage different than some of the other cultures? Yes, yes. If you wanna try, you're gonna see. It's very different. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, now you get it smoked. I'll try it now. <laughs> yeah, it's good because it's not too fatty. It has a lot of flavor. No, it is, yeah. A lot of spice, it's good. Yeah, I like it a lot. And you serve it like as a sandwich as no, well? No, it's like a appetizer. Appetizer, okay. Yeah. When people come, we can do as a flambe, so okay. grow and then we put a flambe. It's a most popular way for you to serve the sausage flambe. And the kind of the, 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 the cut signature is my favorite, there is yeah. the bacalao. <laughs> the catfish here yeah, is the best. That's a grilled catfish. We can do with the red potatoes. We grill the red potatoes over there. They call bacalao alagareiro. 
know this one is the green one, but it's very, very good. Very good. It's the most sell over here. We sell a lot of codfish. I mean, this is like the real, I feel real, like this is the thing cat. that's really known as for Portuguese cuisine is bacalao. Oh, yeah. And how is it? How is it actually prepared for those that we cook in a charcoal know? too? Oh, it's cooked on charcoal yeah. too. Yeah, it's very tender. You can kind of taste the charcoal on it too. Oh yeah. Yeah, it has that kind of smoky flavor. Tastes good. And it has all the vegetables thrown in. So it's this is probably very healthy for you. It is, yeah. The way you make it, yeah. There's a lot of garlic, you know, we fry the garlic, slice. Olive oil, everything we cook over here, we don't, we use regular oil, we use uh, olive oil for everything to cook. What we love about local businesses is how they give back to the local community. How does Charcoal Portuguese Grill give back? Uh, we do, we try to do the best we can over here. We have a, like a, like a regular custom for five years, you know. We have fresh food, we have a delivery twice a week. So it's nothing, it's no place to storage food. So everything over here comes nice and fresh. And a lot of respect for the customer. We thank you very much for the people who come over and order the food. We appreciate our customers. You know, they always come back. They always come back because they like the food. They say, oh, we need you over here. We need you over here. And today, as a customer over here, says no competition because nobody else has the kind of food that you have over here because we have a real food, you know? So we, we do very good business over here. I'm very glad to be in this town, you know, with my customers and everything. You do catering too. I saw you serve yes, things in like yes. big trays. Oh, yes. We do. I did it one Sunday. We now we close in on Sundays, but for carry we we open up the, the business for the carry on Sundays. Thanks so much for Jocelyn for sharing the charcoal Portu Portuguese grill story. If you're in Berkeley Heights, definitely come and check it out. Located right next to the train station, you can call in for takeout. Bring it home after your. Work in the city is done. Definitely come out to try the bacalao, charcoal. Anything cooked over the grill is fantastic. Uh, if you like this video, please share it and also visit buylocalnj.com. Thanks so much.